Most people in America expect that when they lay themselves down to sleep, according to the prayers that we will give out and utter to the God without too much of a peep, is that we are allowed to sleep safely without some matronly bitch who's a panhandler putting our, her hands in our property bags like a witch. The liars of America like to steal property from me. You see, I purchased some chicken cans at the Dollar Tree, and I woke up last evening, not woke up, but went to find them to make my dinner because I had prepared a meal in advance in my mind and found that all three of them were gone. And another can of a different type of food that I regularly do eat was found within my bag. A liar of Satan likes to play games and steal food from a homeless man. For the past five or six years, while I had been traveling, when I had a vehicle, someone was always putting their hands in my chest pockets, pulling beverage-type things from my pockets, which is where I used to keep it until I decided, you know, I don't really need some stranger's hands in my shirt pockets, my breast pockets, my chest pockets when I'm sleeping. I have also discovered that men in the force like to do things called peeping. I woke up in the middle of the night at the Lord's request to sort of readjust myself because I didn't really put down much in the way of comfort underneath me. The Lord taught me where to go to buy a tarp that was marvelously inexpensive that would fully tent me so that I would have a lot more opportunity to be easier, easier cared for for me to sort of prevent the monster who kept coming into my tent, kept moving my magnificent rollator cart and stealing from my property bags. Today, we'll see if that did anything correctly or whether they were able to unearth me. But what I heard was a man say, he's moving in there. It was a deep voiced policeman's type of voice because it was very clear. But openly, it could have just been a bastard of Satan trying to draw near. The liars of an American community will lie, steal, and cheat you and me out of our pocket change. And they will sit almost every day in the same place on 6th and Green, or near the mall somewhere. Now it's true, according to a woman who came to approach me and contribute a little money to my food ministry, that openly that men apparently have no more shelter. And it is true that I've reached out to almost every organization that feeds people to say, would you mind dropping off some canned goods for me because I cannot physically walk any further out to your church where you do this pantry. And surely you've got some parishioner who has a vehicle who might be in the area for their own shopping who could drop some canned goods off to me. I'd like to request that, that I need some canned goods. And openly, I had two marvelous cans of pork and one marvelous can of beef from an incredible company I had never heard of. And I don't know where they came from, but they were awesome for me. Really good quality. When I tried to buy the Kroger Spam again for the second time, which was not bad, fried in a pan, that openly what I found was the entire vat of that canned item was completely gone and probably placed in back. I often have my food played with by a type of a cashier at the ruler store, but it's intermittent in how she's probably feeling, or is it intermittent in the people who are wheeling and dealing? And did someone when she wasn't looking or someone when she was checking me out switch out my pizza to play with me? And there was black women who were sort of observing me each time I've gone shopping. The liars of America might be any predilection in the world, but openly they don't have a project for me. They have an ideology for me, which is not technically for me. In other words, they want to enslave me. And I look at them and I see them and I observe them and I think, wow, God gifts me to be safer from your mentality but you think God is directing your steps to abuse me.